Welcome. So we're taking a look um, at the CIS security benchmarks, the structure of the document, the, the sections in the particular each and every control in the document. And in this module, we'll look at CIS benchmarks operating system example for one of the most common servers deployed in the entire industry, which is Microsoft Windows Server 2012 R2. Now in this slide, again, we get a snapshot view just to give you a general flavor, 107 benchmarks, seven categories, We've picked up this example from the first category from operating systems. There were 36 different PDF documents or benchmarks available, and we picked up one of those, which was one particular flavor of Windows Server 2012, which was R2. So this is a screenshot showing what the top page or the front page looks like. This is from January 31st, 2017. Now, the shocking uh, thing is that this is a 760 pages PDF document. It's one of the largest benchmark documents in the entire CIS set. And it just shows that how many security vulnerabilities there are in the Microsoft platforms. Microsoft is one of the most insecure environments, most commonly used and most insecure environments. So in the first section, it says profile applicability. And you have level one domain controller and level one member server, level two domain controller, level two member server. Now what this actually means, the level one and level two these are, the level one is something which is highly recommended, but level two are more serious controls and they could impact the performance of the system or could even impact your application. And these, these the level two controls are more intensive controls which could have more serious impact and they require more uh, testing, more background research. So, uh, here's a description of what um, CIS describes for level one, what's a level one and what's a level two. Level one items in this profile intend to be practical and prudent. Okay, so the, the obvious. Provide a clear security benefit. You've got it, you know, it's, it's obvious that it's, it's, it's a good security control. And they do not inhibit or harm the utility of the technology beyond acceptable means. So these are what you call no-brainers. You've got to do this. Level two is different. Level two extends the level one profile. They are intended for environments or use cases where security is paramount. Financial applications, maybe a mobile application, uh, a more sensitive application. Acts as a defense in depth measure, more serious, more intense, and they may negatively inhibit or harm the utility or performance of technology. So whenever there is a um, control, you'll be told in the beginning if it's a level one or level two. And the control content, as we saw, um, it, you know, there's a profile applicability, there's a description, rationale, audit, remediation, impact is what we have here in this uh, particular uh, module as well, compared to the previous module, default value and references. Now, in, um, in, this, in this particular control we've picked up, uh, to show you, we've picked up control number 1.1.2, which says ensure maximum password age is set to 60 or fewer days, but not zero. And this says scored. So what's scored and unscored? Scored is um, something which is taken into account, which is more important by the cat utility. So CIS has an automated utility and this particular control will be counted in that automated utility. So if you don't have the automated utility, which you have to buy, then this really doesn't mean much, but Scored usually means it's a more important control and unscored would mean it's not counted much. So profile applicability is shown as level one domain controller and level one member server. It applies to both. It's not a level two control, it's a level one control. Description, this policy setting defines how long a user can use their password before it expires. Values for this policy range from zero to 999 days. If you set the value to zero, the password will never expire. And this control is suggesting that we should set the password renewal to 60 days. Navigate to the, in the, in the audit section, navigate to the user interface path and arc, articulated in the remediation section and confirm it is as prescribed. So this is a screenshot of remediation. The colored section told, tells you what to write. And it tells us here, I'm reading it out because it may not be very clear for you. In the remediation section, it says to establish the recommended configuration via, via GP or group policy, set the following user interface path to uh, 60 or fewer days, but not zero. And it gives you the path in the colored section. 
And this is the default value, uh, which is actually set to 42 days um, for Windows Server 2012 R2. And we, uh, you know, it's recommending here that we should change this to 60 days or, or less. And here are references also given for CCE. And CCE means Common Configuration Enumeration, which is a unique identifier for common system configuration issues. So it gives you the reference uh, because this particular control is cross-referenced for other system controls as well. So CCIE, uh, CCE identifier is also given here. Thank you.